Greetings everyone, welcome to the 10th episode of Freeway to Financial Freedom. My name is Chen Yin Yu, the host of the show. I, before the introduction, I would like to uh, tell everyone that I want to thank uh, every one of you for um, watching my show for the past four months. Um, and uh, I really hope that um, I can actually get some more audience to actually to watch my show and hopefully they can actually uh, be more financially uh, knowledgeable uh, and therefore they will actually um, they will actually avoid uh, some kind of a financial pitfalls. Uh, um, now back to the introduction. For those of you who have seen the show, you know what this uh, what what this is about. And for those of you who have not seen the show or who are here for the first time, well, let me tell you this: this show is going to change the way you think about finance. And after you watch the, the show, you can actually take that knowledge to actually empower yourself and then hopefully uh, you can actually avoid uh, uh, financial liabilities while um, enriching yourself financially. So now, here's the story. Cash flow is the story of how an average person overcomes obstacles and limitations to escape the rat race and take charge of their financial future. It all began when our wide-eyed hero graduated college, got a job, accumulated debt, and found himself stuck firmly in the middle of the same rat race he swore he would avoid when he used to dream big. How would he ever find his way out? It's Ready Rat to the rescue! rescue, rescue, rescue. It's time for you to escape this rat race! Let me show you the way out! With that, our hero learned how to change his thinking about money and investing, understand risk and grow his passive income, providing him with the financial freedom to get out of the rat race that was making him live from hand to mouth with little chance that anything would change. Finally, our hero escapes the rat race and goes down a road of his very own where all of his dreams come true. The end. Freeway to Financial Freedom is sponsored by Income and Product Emporium Fly High with Financial and Technological Freedom and by CYY Mall Great savings come from shoppers like you And now back to the show And let's see this time I'll be a pilot and a dream, a research center. Okay, so I'll choose this one. And who is uh, my challenger gonna be? Let's see, Katie. And her dream, a stock market market for kids. Alright, so... Okay, so now let's start the game. And now it's my turn. Six. Okay, so it should be opportunity, no doubt. And of course I'll pick a small deal. Condo for sale, two bedroom, one bathroom, older, two one condo offered for by young couple who wants to move up to a three two house due to growing family. Available soon. Use this for yourself or sell to another player. Thirty percent ROI may sell for forty five thousand to sixty five thousand cost. Fifty five thousand mortgage fifty thousand down here in five thousand and cash flow one hundred sixty. Uh, yeah, I think it could be a. It could be this could be an increase or decrease of a price, so there's a risk for that. I have to pass anyway. Yeah, I would have passed on that deal too. And it's Katie's turn. And she's in opportunity. And let's see what she has right now. Okay, condo for sale, two bedroom, one bathroom. And she passed the opportunity.
and of course it's my turn to Okay, and that's opportunity, no doubt about it. Okay, so small deal. What is it now? Stock, NYT for you electronics. Let's see, today's price $30 per share. Time trading range, $5, five to $30. Hmm, that's a little bit too high, I'll pass that. And let's see where KD is at. Paycheck. And she took home $1,110. And of course, it's my turn. Okay, so I got four. My stockbroker says that investing in real estate is risky. What else would you expect a stockbroker to say about real estate? Why don't you ask a real estate broker what he thinks about stocks? I wouldn't do that because he doesn't handle stock. Oh! Okay, so I got the opportunity of a stock onto you, entertainment. Uh, but of course, it's a little, the price is too high, so I had to pass. Okay, now it's Katie's turn. And this, she's in stock NYT for you. And she passed the opportunity. Well, today's price is $20, but of course for her it's too high, so... Of course, she won't take that. And let's see, it's my turn. One, I do that. And what is it? Pay four thousand dollars for a big screen TV. Oi. Well, at least I got five thousand six hundred, so I'll pay with cash. And of course, it's my turn. Let's see. I'm sorry. What's Katie's turn? And let's see again. The stock MIT for you twenty dollars, and she passed the opportunity. And it's my turn. Hopefully I can get an odd number. Five. That's great because that's opportunity. Let's see. No doubt about it. Small deal. Condo for sale. Bank for closure. Two bedroom, one bathroom condo in a desirable neighborhood close to jobs and stores. Make offer. Fi favoring financial by bank. Financing, favoring, favorable financing by bank. Use this for yourself or sell to a player. 53% or I may sell for 45 to 65,000. Cost 40,000. Mortgage 35,000. Down payment of 5,000 and a cash flow of 220. Why do you say investing is a risky? Well, there's always risk when you invest, but it doesn't mean you have to be risky. You don't have to be a risky investor. When you drive your car, there's risk, right? Yeah, but... You don't have to be a risky driver. If you take a few lessons, practice, take it slow, you'll be a very good investor. There's always risk, but you don't have to be risky. Oh, I see. Okay, well, I already bought a house for that, um, for the 5000 down payment. And of course, I had to borrow the bank money from, from the bank. A loan of a thousand dollars, but of course, bank payment of a thousand, a hundred. So let's see, loan will be the liability, bank payment will be expenses, down payment will be asset, so it's cost, mortgage as a liability, and cash flow will be income, and still I got an income of 120, that's not bad. So cash flow, I got cash flow of 2720, with 200 dollars on hand. And it's Katie's turn. Let's see where she's at. Market Plex Fire. Well, she doesn't have any Plex, and so, and neither do I. So doesn't apply to both of us. And it should be my turn. And let's see what I have. Six. Okay, that's great. That should be opportunity, no doubt. Small deal. House for sale, not live for six months. This bank for close house of three bedroom, two bathroom, just reduced. Loan include estimated recurring cost uses for yourself or sell to another player. Uh, unknown our I may sell for 65. I don't know. Taking out loans and borrowing money seems kind of dangerous. Borrowing money isn't dangerous. It's what you do with the money that is dangerous. Always remember there is good debt and bad debt. Good debt makes you rich, and bad debt makes you poor. 
Unfortunately, most people invest in bad debt, and that's why they're poor. A known ROI may sell for sixty-five to one hundred thirty-five thousand. Cost and mortgage, fifty thousand. Down payment, down payment is zero. Cash flow a hundred. Hey, that sounds like a great deal. I mean, I only got like two hundred dollars on hand, so yeah, I'll buy it. Good job. This will be asset. Uh, so is the cost. Well, as well as down payment. Mortgage has liability and cash flow of in is income and I got an extra income of a hundred. Yep, that's great. Still have two hundred dollars on hand. All right. And now it's Katie's turn. And let's see what she's at. Do Dad go to concert? Dinner tickets and coffee set you back hundred eighty dollars and she paid hundred eighty dollars for that. You see, most brokers are not investors. The reason they're called brokers is because they're broker than you are. And I wrote a five. And that's a do that again. Oh, go to consider casino. You lose two hundred dollars at tables. Well, I wouldn't pay with a credit card, so um, yeah, I'll pay with a cash. And it's Katie's turn. She's she has landed on she's she landed on opportunity. And let's see where she's at. A house for sale. Three bedroom, two bathroom. Well, and she passed the opportunity because of negative cash flow. Ha ha. Great job for her. And it's my turn. Hopefully, odd number this time. Five. Okay, that's great. And let's see. Should be opportunity. Great. Small deal. Mutual fund. Grow for us fund. Forty dollars per share. Trading range ten to thirty dollars. Oh, that's too high. I'll pass. Uh, and let's see where Kitty's at. Paycheck. And she took home a thousand one hundred and sixty. Okay, let's see if I could actually pay, pay for my uh, repay my loans. Let me see. Yeah, the big, the biggest, the bank loan. So I had to pay that loan. Uh, yeah, the rest is kind of is actually not enough. So yeah. Mutual funds are good, safe investments. Mutual funds aren't safe. Many only work if the stock market is going up. When the stock market drops, many mutual funds lose their value faster than other investments. Okay, so I got five. Land to a baby. Got a child right now, so I got an expense of four hundred eighty dollars. Okay, so now I have a cash flow of two thousand four hundred forty. Oh, looks like I better invest quickly. And it's Katie's turn, and she's at doodad for a second time. Well, of course she doesn't have a child, so that doesn't apply to her. Now it's my turn. And let's see what I'm at. Okay, I got one. And it's opportunity, no doubt, small deal. Stock okay for you, drug company, $40 per share, training range five to forty dollars. Uh too high again. I'll pass. And let's see where Katie's at. Charity. Use one or two dice for your next next three turns if you donate ten percent of your total income. And she did pay three hundred and thirty dollars to charity. And it's my turn. One, a paycheck. Well, nothing special. Let me see if I could repay my loans this time. Uh, well, it's probably just that but that's too small so forget that for now i took home 2440 okay so now it's her turn be careful with real estate tenants could damage your property that's correct but that's what you have insurance for and don't worry so much about the tenants or what they could do 
You need to focus on those rent checks coming in every month. If you have good property managers, they'll take care of that problem for you. Okay, and now it's Katie actually was in a do that, lost it. some money, $100. And now it's my turn. Okay, three. And I should be an opportunity. Okay, that's great. Small deal. Oh, the stock again. $30 per share. Well, too high, I'll pass. Okay, now it's Katie's turn. And I bet she rode, let's see, she rode to, she landed on opportunity and let's see what's her opportunity this time. Start a company part-time. And she passed the opportunity. Now it's my turn. All right, so now I rolled a two. That's opportunity, no doubt. Okay, so yeah, let me try a big deal this time. Bed and breakfast for sale. Owner retired once out now. Great clientele in resort community. Five bedroom, three three bathroom. Uses for yourself or sell to a player. Forty percent ROI may sell for a hundred to three hundred thousand. Cost fifteen hundred fifty thousand dollars. Mortgage of hundred twenty thousand. Down payment of thirty thousand and cash flow of thousand. Uh, that's a little bit too much, so I I'll pass. Yeah, I would have passed on that deal too. Now it's Katie's turn, and let's see where she's at. Opportunity. Okay, so. My real estate broker says property will go up in value. What do you think? Well, ask your real estate broker if they have a crystal ball. Always remember that your profit is made when you buy, not when you sell. But I'm spending money and buying. So how does that work? Making a profit when I'm spending money? Do you hope the investment will go up in value? Well, yeah. That's why I'm spending money, I think. Well, you should never expect the price of anything to go up in order to make a profit. A piece of real estate needs to be profitable when you buy it. It's the same as a stock needs to pay a dividend when you buy it. Never expect a thing to go up in value. That's gambling. Okay, so Katie bought a house with a cash flow of 200. Okay, now I landed an opportunity and there's a house for sale. Three bedroom, two bathroom. Low down payment for to make up this 3-2 house. Owner, seller, and expectedly moving out of town. Right person will do well. Use this for yourself or sell to the player. 40% ROI may sell for sixty five to 135000 Cost 50000 Mortgage 47000 And down payment of um, 3000 Cash flow of 100 Great deal. I'll buy it. Nicely done. Oh. Okay, so now this is the uh, asset for down payment. So it's a cost, mortgage, liability. I have cash flow of 100, that's income. So now I have an extra ca a cash flow of 2,540. Cash on hand, 6,520. Well, I could have bought more than that. So, okay, now it's Katie's turn. And she landed on opportunity. All right, so let's see where she where she's at right now. Condo for sale. And she passed the opportunity because it's not, not only it has negative cash flow, but also um, the price is a bit too high. Broker says that investing in real estate is risky. What else would you expect a stockbroker to say about real estate? Why don't you ask a real estate broker what he thinks about stocks? I wouldn't do that because he doesn't handle stock. Oh! Okay, so I wrote a six letter an opportunity, pick a big deal. Okay, duplex for sale, well maintained. Uh, duplex in desirable area available due to transfer of owner. Excellent investment opportunity for right buyer. Use this for yourself or, for yourself or sell to the player. 60% RI, may sell for 50,000 to 80,000. Cost of 60,000. Um, mortgage of 54,000. Down payment of 6,000 and cash flow of 300. Well, that's not a bad one. I can actually buy it. Nicely done. Thanks. And now this will be asset for down payment. So there's the cost, mortgage, liability, and cash flow of will be, in, will be income. And now I have cash flow of 2,500, 2,840. Cash on hand, 3,060. Okay. So now it's Katie's turn. And 
and she's let she let an opportunity. Okay. Condo for sale. Two bedroom, one bathroom, and she passed the opportunity. Okay, I roll a die. Five. And what is that? Okay, a child. Again, this time I got an extra child. So let's see. $480 to expense. This will be expense, no doubt. So now my cash flow is reduced to $2,360. Now it's Katie's turn. Why do you say investing is a risky? Well, there's always risk when you invest. But it doesn't mean you have to be risky. You don't have to be a risky investor. When you drive your car, there's risk, right? Yeah, but... You don't have to be a risky driver. If you take a few lessons, practice, take it slow, you'll be a very good investor. There's always risk, but you don't have to be risky. Oh, I see. Now it's my turn. Now I'm at market. You are offered 65000 for two one rental con condo. Buyer has own financing. May Everyone may sell this price. If you sell, pay off the related mortgage and give up the cash flow you currently receive on this property. Uh, yeah. Let me see. That's the one with the 40000 in cost. Um. Well. The one with a three bedroom, two bathroom, the highest price is like 135000 But the two bedroom, one bathroom, the highest is like 65000 So yeah, let me just try to sell that. So I remove that income, asset and liability, and I should have an extra, let's see. How you at least Probably about 30,000 extra on hand, and yep, it is. Got cash of 35,420, cash flow of 2,140. Okay, so now it's Katie's turn. And she landed an opportunity. I don't know. Taking out loans and borrowing money seems kind of dangerous. Borrowing money isn't dangerous. It's what you do with the money that is dangerous. Always remember there is good debt and bad debt. Good debt makes you rich and bad debt makes you poor. Unfortunately, most people invest in bad debt and that's why they're poor. And now a row of four and that's, oh, downsized. Well, looks like I lost three turns now. So now I have $28,000 remain. Actually, $28,060 remain. Okay, now she's on do that. Room of layoff, go back to school for edit skill, pay the tuition for, pay for tuition and books, $1,200. Okay, well I'm downsized, so now it's Katie's turn. Now she's in paycheck, and she took home a thousand four hundred fifty. Jamila? Okay, so now I'm downsized. Uh, okay. Let's see, she's at market. Let's see. Buyer offer $35,000 per unit for all unit in any combination of duplex, fourplex, and what eightplex. What is the first question I should ask my stockbroker? Well, the first question I'd ask is, do you invest in stocks? Statistics show that most stockbrokers don't invest in stocks. The same is true with most real estate brokers. They don't invest in real estate. 
You see, most brokers are not investors. The reason they're called brokers is because they're broker than you are. Well, of course, the, the price is too low, so I have to skip that. And uh, it's my turn. Three. Someone was talking. And let's see. I let an opportunity, and this is a. I take a small. Actually, I take a big deal. House for sale. Three bedroom, two bathroom. Businessman liquidating his 3-2 house need cash to save his business. Currently occupied by a happy tenant. Use this for yourself or sell it to another player. 26% ROI may sell for 65 to 135,000. Cost of 65,000. Mortgage 58,000. Down payment of 7,000. And cash flow 150. Yep, I'll buy it. There you go. Okay, so now I have cash flow 2290, cash on hand 23,200, and now it's Katie's turn. Mutual funds are good safe investments. Mutual funds aren't safe. Many only work if the stock market is going up. When the stock market drops, many mutual funds lose their value faster than other investments. And now it's my turn. And now I'm in do that, go to the air show, pay $120. I'll pay cash with that. And now it's Katie's turn. And stock MIT for you, electronics. Yeah, Today's price one dollar. Oh, that could have been me. I could have actually bought five, just up to five thousand dollars worth of stock. I mean, for like five, for like five thousand share. Okay, so it's my turn. Six, and what is it now? Market. Well, I don't have any condos, so it doesn't apply to me. Stock okay for you, drugs? Oh, that could have been me. Today's price is a dollar, so. I mean, I could have bought like up to 5,000 shares uh, with a with dollar per share worth $5,000. Well, at most. Okay, now it's my turn. Five. And let's see where I'm at. Opportunity. Okay, so I'll take a big deal, no doubt. 12 unit apartment house offered by out of state heirs to handyman owner. Oh, actually, it's careful with real estate. Tenants could damage your property. That's correct, but that's what you have insurance for. And don't worry so much about the tenants or what they could do. You need to focus on those rent checks coming in every month. If you have good property managers, they'll take care of that problem for you. Okay, let's see. Uh, 12 unit apartment house offered by our state heirs of handyman owner. Long waiting list apartments in this building. Uses for yourself or sell to the player. 50% um, RI may sell for 30000 to 480000 Cost 350000 Mortgage of 300000 Down payment of 50000 And cash flow of 2400 Oh, That's a little bit too much. Uh, I'll have to pass. Yeah, I would have passed on that deal too. And it's Katie's turn. Now she's in market. Well, she doesn't have a condo, so it doesn't apply to her or me. And now it's my turn. Three. 
three and it should be market no doubt you are offered a hundred thousand for a three two bed three bedroom two bathroom one two house buyer has own financing every month we sell at this price if you sell pay off the related mortgage and give up the cash flow you currently receive on this property hmm well I can actually sell one of them I would say yeah so I'm gonna have to sell this one the estate broker says property will go up in value what do you think well ask your real estate broker if they have a crystal ball always remember that your profit is made when you buy not when you sell but I'm spending money and buying so how does that work making a profit when I'm spending money do you hope the investment will go up in value well yeah that's why I'm spending money I think well you should never expect the price of anything to go up in order to make a profit a piece of real estate needs to be profitable when you buy it is the same as a stock needs to pay a dividend when you buy it never expect a thing to go up in value that's gambling well, I sold a house, a 3-2 house for a profit of 53000 so I got, I got $80,000, um, $80,660 cash on hand, okay, and now it's my turn to uh, do that. Okay, what now? Your child marries, one of your children has finished school and gotten married, the child no longer costs you anything to support. You give the new couple $2,000 to help them get started and then reduce the number of your children by one and reduce your child expenses. Okay, so I'll pay with cash the $2,000 to that new couple. Alright, so now I got, I get rid of one expense, the child expense of $480. So now I have cash flow of $2,670. Alright. And now it's Katie's turn. And she's in do that, go out to dinner, spend eighty dollars. So she paid eighty dollars for that. Okay, I should be my turn for a moment. And yep, that was my, that's my turn. And I roll a one opportunity. Okay, that's great. So let me get a big deal this time. Stockbroker says that investing in real estate is risky. What else would you expect a stockbroker to say about real estate? Why don't you ask a real estate broker what he thinks about stocks? I wouldn't do that because he doesn't handle stock. Oh! Small shopping mall for sale. Bank has taken back mall from bank bankrupt owner. Bank mail mall is currently 50% 50, 50 occupied. Just listed today. Use this for yourself or sell to another player. 19% or I may sell for 35 to 150,000. Costs and down payment 50,000. Cash flow of 800. Well, I can actually take a try. I mean, the, I don't think I would sell shopping mall for it for a long term. So, yeah, let's try that. I'll buy it. There you go. This will be asset for down payment. So it's the cost. I have no mortgage. So I'll call that's liability. Cash flow of 800 as income. And now I got cash flow of 3,470. Okay, cash on hand, 20660 Okay, so now I'm increasing my passive income gradually. All right. And now she's an opportunity. NYT for you, electronics. T today's price, $40 per share. I hope she sold some of, the, his, some of her stock. And now it's my turn to... And of course I'll take a big deal, no doubt. Eight plex for sale. You're investing in off owner offered eight plex for sale at a reasonable price. Why do you say investing is a risky? Well, there's always risk when you invest, but it doesn't mean you have to be risky. You don't have to be a risky investor. 
When you drive your car, there's risk, right? Yeah, but... You don't have to be a risky driver. If you take a few lessons, practice, take it slow, you'll be a very good investor. There's always risk, but you don't have to be risky. Oh, I see. Let's see, financing already in place, all you need is your down payment, use this for yourself or sell to the player, 51% or I may sell for 200,000 to 280,000. Uh, cost of 200, cost is 220,000, mortgage 180,000, down payment of 40,000, and cash flow of 1,700. Sounds pretty impressive. I mean, I had to borrow some money from bank, but I think that's worth it. I'll buy it. Good job. Of course, I had to borrow my uh, money, borrow some money from bank, so loan payment amount 12,000, payment 1,200. Okay, so I'll borrow the money. This will be, um, Liability, um, bank payment has expenses, down payment that's a liability, I'm sorry, down payment that's an asset, so it's a cost, mortgage is a liability, and cash flow is a income. So I have a $500 extra, so now cash flow of 3970 So now I close. Now it's Katie's turn. And she's on paycheck. And she took her 1,910. Okay. I don't know. Taking out loans and borrowing money seems kind of dangerous. Borrowing money isn't dangerous. It's what you do with the money that's dangerous. Always remember there is good debt and bad debt. Good debt makes you rich, and bad debt makes you poor. Unfortunately, most people invest in bad debt, and that's why they're poor. Okay, now in market, and he the buyer offered $30,000 per unit for all units in any combination of duplex, fourplex, and eightplexes. Yeah, that's probably a little bit too low, so I'll pass. And now it's Katie's turn. She landed on opportunity. And I found a great deal. Oh, wow, well, that could have been me. Now it's my turn. And I wrote a die, a four. And that's charity. Okay, that's great. So yeah, I'll donate 10% of my total income. I donate $1,255 to charity. Okay, hopefully I can run a bit faster in my next turn. Okay, Katie, she's in paycheck and she took home $2,130. And it should be my turn, yep. And I'm gonna roll two dice then, eight. Okay, that's great. And what is it now? Baby? Okay, so I got an expense again. This time, again, $480. So that's will be expense. Okay, so I got cash flow of $2,490. All right. What is the first question I should ask my stockbroker? Well, the first question I'd ask is, do you invest in stocks? Statistics show that most stockbrokers don't invest in stocks. The same is true with most real estate brokers. They don't invest in real estate. You see, most brokers are not investors. The reason they're called brokers is because they're broker than you are. Okay, so now I roll five, and that's opportunity. Let me take a big deal. Let's see. Um, automated business for sale. 30 video pinball machines and long term contact for sale by overextended owner. Owner is desperate uses for yourself or sell to the player. 96% or I no buyer in sight. Uh, no other buyer in sight. Cost a ten, 100,000. Mortgage 8,000. Down payment of 20,000. And a cash flow of impressive 1,600. Well. Perhaps I can try that. Good job. I had to borrow money again, so loan amount of ten thousand, payment of a uh, thousand. 
Okay, so I still get an income, I would, I would, I believe. <laughs> and of course, cash flow, I still get extra $600 income. Okay, so cash flow is $4,090. All right. And let's see, Katie's now downsized. Okay, that gives me some opportunity to actually run a little bit faster one last time. Two dice, eight, all right. And let me take a small deal this time. Mutual funds are good safe investments. Mutual funds aren't safe. Many only work if the stock market is going up. When the stock market drops, many mutual funds lose their value faster than other investments. Okay, for you drug, today's price is $5, trading range 5 to $40. Hmm. Yeah, I can actually buy $200 in 200 shares for a thousand. So I'll buy it. Okay, so now this will be asset for number option and cost per option. So I still have $3,925 in cash. Okay, now Katie's still downsized. And now it's my turn. One, a doodad. Okay, what now? It's $80 for dinner. I'll pay cash for that. And of course, she's still downsized. And it's my turn. Four, and that's a paycheck, no doubt. And let me see if I could repay my loans because I got too much of that. Yeah, that's a little bit too much. So I have to wait for now. I took home 4,090. Okay, it's Katie's turn. And she's Careful in opportunity. With real estate. Tenants could damage your property. That's correct, but that's what you have insurance for. And don't worry so much about the tenants or what they could do. You need to focus on those rent checks coming in every month. If you have good property managers, they'll take care of that problem for you. Okay, well, she passed the opportunity for an apartment house. Now it's my turn. One. And of course, I'll take a small deal this time. MYT for you. $30. That's too high. I'll pass that. And now where Katie's at, paycheck. And he should take home 2130 And now it's my turn. Four. And let me take up a small deal this time. You find a great deal. Company bought transfer manager three bedroom, two bathroom house. No current tenant has been on market for six months. Just reduce. Ball for the bank if you must but buy this. 150% RI may sell for 65 to 135,000. Cost 45,000. Mortgage of 43,000. Down payment of 2,000. And cash flow of 250. Yep, well, I'm gonna buy it. Good job. And I have a cash flow of 4,340. Okay, so far so good. And Katie's now on opportunity. Duplex for sale. Uh, and she paid $7,000. Oh. Broker says property will go up in value. What do you think? Well, ask your real estate broker if they have a crystal ball. 
always remember that your profit is made when you buy, not when you sell. But I'm spending money and buying. So how does that work? Making a profit when I'm spending money? Do you hope the investment will go up in value? Well, yeah. That's why I'm spending money, I think. Well, you should never expect the price of anything to go up in order to make a profit. A piece of real estate needs to be profitable when you buy it. It's the same as a stock needs to pay a dividend when you buy it. Never expect a thing to go up in value. That's gambling. Okay, well, should I buy a house for $7,000 with a cash flow of 140 Okay. And then, how, this time, I mean, big deal, opportunity, house for sale, three bedroom, two bathroom, transfer skilled tradesmen keep this 3-2 house in excellent condition, so it commands top dollar rental in older neighborhood, use this for yourself or sell to the player, 40% ROI may sell for 65 to 135000 cost 67000 mortgage of 55000 down payment of 12000 and cash flow of 400 Well, um, I believe it's worth it, I'll buy it. Good job. Got to borrow the money, no doubt. So this will be liability, expense, um, asset, asset, liability, and cash income. Well, I still got 200 extra for income, so cash flow, 4,540, okay, here. And let's see where she's at. Do that. And she paid $250 for that close. My stockbroker says that investing in real estate is risky. What else would you expect a stockbroker to say about real estate? Why don't you ask a real estate broker what he thinks about stocks? I wouldn't do that because he doesn't handle stock. Oh! Well, I don't have enough money for that condo, so I'll pass. Let's see, and where Katie's at? Opportunity. My. And she passed the opportunity. The, the apartment house for the apartment house cash flow of 2400 okay now it's my turn two and let's see it's gonna be a small deal no doubt okay for you drug ten dollars hmm so that's gonna be two thousand dollars worth of stock that's not high enough I I'll pass And let's see, and she's at market, apartment house buy, well she doesn't have that, so does that apply to her? And now it's my turn. Five, and where am I at right now? Market. Buyers offer forty thousand dollars per unit for all units in a combination of few duplex, fourplex, and eight or eight plexes. Has own financing. Every month may sell this price. If you sell, yeah. Let me see. Why do you say investing is a risky? Well, there's always risk when you invest, but it doesn't mean you have to be risky. You don't have to be a risky investor. When you drive your car, there's risk, right? Yeah, but... You don't have to be a risky driver. If you take a few lessons, practice, take it slow, you'll be a very good investor. There's always risk, but you don't have to be risky. Oh, I see. Yeah, I don't think it's worth it, so I'll pass. And where Katie, And let's see where Katie's at. Fourplex for sale. And she paid twenty thousand dollars for that fourplex. Cash flow eight hundred dollars. Let's see, it's my turn. Four. And that should be charity. Use one or two dice for the next three turns if you donate ten percent of your total income. Well, I'll donate anyway. 
I paid a thousand four hundred eighty dollars for charity. Okay, now it's Katie's turn. And Katie's not do that. Rumor layoff. She paid a thousand two hundred dollars for that tuition and books, so that she can go back to school for added skills. And now it's my turn. Two dice, ten. And what is it gonna be? Paycheck. I took home 4540 and let's see if I could repay my loans. Okay, uh, yeah, this one is a biggie. I mean, $12,000 loan, that's a biggie, so I had to get rid of that. Okay, so I got $415 cash on hand. Okay. I don't know. Taking out loans and borrowing money seems kind of dangerous. Borrowing money isn't dangerous. It's what you do with the money that's dangerous. Always remember there is good debt and bad debt. Good debt makes you rich and bad debt makes you poor. Unfortunately, most people invest in bad debt and that's why they're poor. Okay, so she landed on a big, a big deal opportunity and she paid $12,000 for that duplex cash flow 400 Oh, I better hustle right now. Seven. And this will be small deal this time. Ooh, house for sale. Three bedroom, two bathroom. No down payment. Uh, cost is $50,000 as well as mortgage. May sell for sixty five to 135000 Cash flow 100. Well, I'm gonna buy it. Good job. Cash flow, 5,840. Okay, but Katie's like, like way ahead of me right now. Oh gosh. Well, let's see where Katie's at. Cokeware, opportunity infomercial. And she didn't get high enough row to actually get that kind of a, well, cash flow. Okay, now it's my turn, 11, all right. Where am I at right now? Market. You are offered $110 for $110 dollars for a 3-2 house rental house. Buyer has owned financing. Everyone might sell at this price. Well is the first question I should ask my stockbroker. Well, the first question I'd ask is, do you invest in stocks? Statistics show that most stockbrokers don't invest in stocks. The same is true with most real estate brokers. They don't invest in real estate. You see, most brokers are not investors. The reason they're called brokers is because they're broker than you are. Well, I can sell two of them, two of my houses, for sure. Okay, so I'll sell two of them. So now I have to get rid of this. And now I have the cash of $127,000 and... I have a cash of 127095 dollars Cash flow of 5340 Okay, now it's Katie's turn. And she's at the biotech company IPO. She well, of course, she didn't get enough high enough row to to actually get that kind of a high cash flow. Now it's my turn. Three, and of course, I'll take a big deal, no doubt. A 60-unit complex available from the pension fund for, for cost on builder owner. On-site management in place uses for yourself or sell to the player. 66% RI may sell for 1.5 to 2.7 million dollars. Cost um, is a 1.2 million. Mortgage of 1 million. Down payment of 200,000. Cash flow of impressive 11,000 dollars. Mutual funds are good safe investments. Mutual funds aren't safe. Many only work if the stock market is going up. 
When the stock market drops, many mutual funds lose their value faster than other investments. Well, I better catch up uh, with Katie right now, so I'll buy it. Good job. Yeah, I gotta borrow that money, no doubt. So, of course, this will be liability, expense, asset, asset, mortgage, and cash flow. And of course, I still have a plus ca a positive cash flow, and now I have cash flow of $9,040. Alright. Lovely. Lovely. Now it's Katie's turn. A kid's library. Cost $175,000. And she paid for that. Okay. Now I roll. A four. And that's opportunity. I'll take a big deal. House for sale. Three bedroom, two bathroom. Yeah, that's the cost of seventy-five thousand. Mortgage of sixty-eight thousand. Down payment of seven thousand. May sell for sixty-five to one hundred thirty-five thousand. Cash flow of three hundred. Impressive. Hey, I'll buy it. Nicely done. Thank you. And now this will be asset, asset, liability. It will be, and then it will be income, cash flow of nine thousand three hundred forty. Okay. And it's Katie's turn. Soft oil company again. I hope she didn't. And she didn't get high enough row. For sure. Be careful with real estate. Tenants could damage your property. That's correct. But that's what you have insurance for. And don't worry so much about the tenants or what they could do. You need to focus on those rent checks coming in every month. If you have good property managers, they'll take care of that problem for you. And let's see, Katie's at dinner with the president. And let's see, she paid $100,000 for that. And now it's my turn. Six. Okay. And of course, I'll take a small deal. Okay for you, drug. $30. Great. That's gonna be, um, let's see, six times of that. So it should be about $6,000. So I'll sell all of them. Okay. So I got cash on hand, $17,475. $17, okay. Katie's turn. Now it's Katie's turn. A gift for faith. Your religious reorganization is growing by a leap and bounds. New buildings are needed. 175000 And he, she passed the opportunity. Okay. Let me see if I could repay my loans. Yeah, those are the biggies. So, I had to pay the loans of these two bank loans. So now I have $5,475 on hand. Bro, a three. A big screen TV again. $4,000. I'll pay cash on that. My real estate broker says property will go up in value. What do you think? Well, ask your real estate broker if they have a crystal ball. Always remember that your profit is made when you buy, not when you sell. But I'm spending money and buying. So how does that work? Making a profit when I'm spending money? Do you hope the investment will go up in value? Well, yeah. That's why I'm spending money, I think. Well, you should never expect the price of anything to go up in order to make a profit. A piece of real estate needs to be profitable when you buy it. It's the same as a stock needs to pay a dividend when you buy it. Never expect a thing to go up in value. That's gambling. Congratulations, you've reached the fast track. You've proved your financial intelligence. Your right raised investments have prospered. You've reinvested your returns for outstanding investment and success. You've successfully in increased your passive in income 100 times. Yay! Thank goodness! Now in fast track. Okay, so I roll, a roll two dice. Nine! Hopefully, I could get some more money. 
buy five hundred thousand dollars share at ten cents per share. If you roll five or higher, get shares go at one dollar per share. Get five hundred thousand dollars cash from bank. Otherwise, get nothing. I'll pass. All right. So so far, let's see where she's at. Where Katie's at right now. One or two dice for the next three turns if you donate ten percent of your in total income, and she don't pay a hundred thousand dollars for charity. Okay, now it's my turn, I believe. Okay, I'm gonna just hustle and hustle and hustle. All right, roll a die, roll two dice, six. Okay, and what is it now? Sixty unit apartment building, eight cash on return, thirty thirty two percent cash flow of eight hundred eight thousand dollars down payment of three three hundred three hundred thousand dollars. Okay, I'll buy it. Good. My stockbroker says that investing in real estate is risky. What else would you expect a stockbroker to say about real estate? Why don't you ask a real estate broker what he thinks about stocks? I wouldn't do that because he doesn't handle stock. Oh! Okay, now I got like $2.9 million, $2.94 million of cash flow. Okay, I roll a nine. Hopefully I can get a new business. Yay! I can't wait to see that. Oh, dinner with president, I'll pass that. Now it's Katie's turn. And save the ocean mammal cost $125,000 and she paid for that. And uh, let me see, what's her, what's her dream anyway? The goal is this oh the stock market for kids and she has no business okay good now i better get myself rolling okay seven yeah come on Ooh, chicken franchise big money earner huh okay cash on return 40 percent cash flow of ten thousand and down payment of three hundred thousand okay well i'll buy it hoo hoo all right and now i still have let's see thirty two thousand dollars to go for cash flow and let's see She's in a t-shirt store and she passed the opportunity. Hold on. Let me see how much she actually need to achieve that. Okay, $50,000 cash flow. Okay, now it's my turn. Eight. Pass the tax audit. All right, come on. Yacht racing. Now I'll pass that. An auto repair shop. Oh. Six thousand dollars, and she paid. Why do you say investing is a risky? Well, there's always risk when you invest, but it doesn't mean you have to be risky. You don't have to be a risky investor. When you drive your car, there's risk, right? Yeah, but you don't have to be a risky driver. If you take a few lessons, practice, take it slow, you'll be a very good investor. There's always risk, but you don't have to be risky. Oh, I see. Okay, well. Should I bought a business, I think it's like $150,000 for the auto repair shop, $6,000 cash flow. Well, I better hustle right now. Okay, three. And what is it now? Come on. I took home a thousand, a million six hundred thirty thousand. Okay. Wow. I gotta get a business right now. All right, now where Katie's at. And she passed that, um, that kind of a kids stock market for kids. Okay, now lawsuit, she paid cash half of her cash on hand to the court. Okay. Now it's my turn. Three. And what is it? Come on. Set up entrepreneurial business for information for a nation. Uh, I'm gonna pass that. Okay, now it's Katie's turn. Oh, the biotech again for her. And let's see, did she roll enough num roll enough points to actually get it? And hmm, I it doesn't say. But anyway, I better roll right now. Six. Okay, come on. Hopefully it's a business. Yeah. Oh, come on. Gonna pass that. All right, all right. Now it's Carrie's turn. Oh, a divorce for Katie, and she paid more money then. Let me see how much is that? Oh, $133,250. I don't know. 
taking out loans and borrowing money seems kind of dangerous. Borrowing money isn't dangerous. It's what you do with the money that's dangerous. Always remember there is good debt and bad debt. Good debt makes you rich and bad debt makes you poor. Unfortunately, most people invest in bad debt and that's why they're poor. Okay, I went through a divorce, so I actually paid half of my money. That's like, what, $3,772,000 for alimony. Oh, gotta get business right now. Real five, nine. Come on, hopefully it's business. Oh, the heli ski for Swiss Alps. I'll pass. Oh. And a park name after you, as for Katie, well, and she said by that money, well, she passed that opportunity, okay. Um, come on, I gotta get a business right now. Come on, it's my turn, okay, let me just, nine, okay, we're about to hustle right now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Buy a gold mine. A $25,000 monthly cash flow if you roll three or higher in one die, otherwise get nothing. Cash flow, $25,000. Let's take a shot. I mean, it's a two-third chance. Three, yay! Okay, so now I got $7,000 to go before I can actually reach that goal. Yay, 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 yay. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, so now it's Katie's turn. And where she's at right now, family restaurant chain. Oh, that's a big money earner. Oh, it could have been me. And she passed the opportunity. I mean, oh, the cash flow, $14,000. Ooh. Okay, so now it's my turn. Five. Okay, come on. Let's. Hopefully, it's a business. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Heat and air conditioning service. Cash on return, sixty thousand dollars. I'm sorry, sixty percent. So first question I should ask my stockbroker. Well, the first question I'd ask is, do you invest in stocks? Statistics show that most stockbrokers don't invest in stocks. The same is true with most real estate brokers. They don't invest in real estate. You see, most brokers are not investors. The reason they're called brokers is because they're broker than you are. Okay, so cash on return, 60%. Cash flow of 10,000 and down payment of $200,000. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna finish, finish up with that. So let's buy it. Yay. Yeah, great. Thank goodness I won. Okay, so congratulations, you won the game and achieved your dream goal. Final score, I have 200 and Katie, 120. Whoo, that was so close. I was like, I, I nearly lost, man. This is unbelievable. But anyway, I did win though. So now, you know what it means to be financially affluent? Good job playing the game. Not everybody wins a game, but everybody can learn from it. I've lost games many times in my life, and they've been the most valuable learning experiences I've ever had. Using discussion and cooperation, we can learn from and teach each other. Ask yourself, what happened when I played the game? Please share your experience with others. So now, that's it for the 10th episode of the show. Um, next episode is going to be something a little bit different from the first 10 episodes, but nevertheless, it's going to be a lot of fun. So now I hope that you um, you apply this knowledge uh, based on the game that I play and then use it to actually enrich yourself day by day, month by month, and, and of course, year by year, and eventually for life. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this show. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.